Good morning guys, welcome back to another vlog and welcome back to another video. It is Friday today and I'm gonna have to do some super speedy editing on this video because I don't have an upload for you guys this weekend and I've been trying really hard I think for the whole of October I managed to upload twice a week and I want to continue it through November and it's like the first weekend of November and I'm already failing at that and I'm not gonna lie to you today is probably the worst day for me to be vlogging because I feel like I've literally got a million and one jobs to do today I'm working from 9 till 12 and my work day is just chaotically busy right now like the first few hours of my work days when I work nine to five are absolute carnage. So I'm only doing nine to 12. So the whole work day, if you can even call it that, is gonna be a busy one. And I'm kind of already dreading it. I'm currently sat here with my coffee, which is gonna have to get me through the next three hours. But just a little rundown of what we need to get done today. I have a self-tape audition that I need to do and I've never actually submitted a self-tape audition before at the grand age of 25 i've never done it in my life so i've got a whole routine i need to learn film it i obviously need to get ready for it and i also have to do oh also ignore the color difference i also have to do a self-tape of me speaking in an american accent and i've never had any classes to do with accents or anything i can only like take the piss out of american accents so i don't know how it's going to go for me it's probably going to take me a while to get it all good but not only do i need to do that i also want to finish my pilates portfolio because i have a super busy weekend this weekend i'm teaching tomorrow and then on sunday i have my intermediate workshop and it's not like i absolutely need to get my portfolio done today but it's kind of the only day that i have free until i wanted to submit it like i want to submit it on monday so obviously i have the workshop then i can just like tidy up the portfolio and then send it off on monday but i don't know if that's gonna happen and i'm staying at aiden's mum's this whole weekend because it's obviously easier for me to go to london so i need to pack everything for the weekend and yeah it's just i feel a little bit overwhelmed i feel like that doesn't maybe sound like a lot but I feel like it's a lot of big things like an audition's a big thing obviously the portfolio is a big thing preparing for my workshop is a big thing and it's just a lot of anxiety inducing things all falling on one day also i didn't mention it in my last video but i don't know if you guys would have noticed but i've dyed my hair so i've gone i'm gonna say i'm now brunette like i feel like i was always a little bit brunette but i feel like now i am fully fledged in the brunette life it is only toner so it is gonna fade and brighten up back to what it was but i'm honestly obsessed with it i was just so over like the harsh blonde at the front and i also got some short pieces cut in so when i actually style it nicely but anyway i need to go get changed out of my pajamas sign on to work and get on with my day so cheers to a super duper busy friday that i definitely shouldn't be vlogging but i am for you guys so let's talk wedding so let's have a wedding catch up i feel like it's been a while since i've updated you guys on the wedding life I feel like all i currently talk about is moving out but there is also a wedding that actually needs to be planned properly because Ed and i have nearly been engaged for six months what the hell how has that gone so quickly which means that our wedding is a year and seven months or eight months away which in the wedding world really is not that long and i still feel super undecided about so many things so let me catch you up with what we're currently planning on doing and maybe some updates of what we're doing so i feel like you guys will already know by now we're having a pretty unconventional wedding like we're not doing the whole big wedding thing mainly because we just cannot afford to do it if money was no question i would be doing it but money is definitely a question for us so not happening so we are getting married abroad and i'm not gonna say where we're getting married because i want it to be a slight surprise for you guys and where we're getting married it is legal in the uk so we theoretically don't need to get married again in the uk at like a courthouse but i kind of woke up this morning and i started thinking do i just want to go do it in a courthouse as well because people do that like they get married legally abroad and then they come home just to like doubly confirm it's 100 percent legal in the uk and then that way like we could just have like our immediate family there because i do feel a little bit bad that 
people are going to be missing out but that's not confirmed i haven't even actually spoken to aiden about that so maybe i shouldn't be telling you guys but he's just gonna have to be the last one to the party unfortunately honestly it depends how much it is like if it's hundreds of pounds to do that then probably won't i feel like my max would be like 150 pound to do that and then we could go for like a nice meal after but that is all tbd however you guys know that we have booked our wedding party venue and this is the thing that's taken up most of the planning obviously the whole budget is for this party so let me run you through what we have booked already because we have actually booked quite a lot of it obviously we have booked the venue we've also booked a dj we have booked some entertainment we've booked a little like selfie pod for people to take some photos and that's basically everything that we already have confirmed i haven't booked any like decoration for the venue because the venue is already really nice and honestly i just do not have the budget to dress the whole place it's a really big venue but the thing i'm having dilemmas with are drinks packages and food like i just don't know what to do because obviously we are just having the party like there is no wedding anything happening at all on the day of the party i honestly think it's so funny that we've booked the party but we don't know when we're getting married and we haven't booked to go to where we want to get married i honestly think that is hilarious so we basically have a date for when we have to be married by but our original plan was we actually had a meeting with a caterer and he was super nice like honestly loved him and he had some really cool ideas he basically does like takeaway boxes and like he'll walk around the party well his staff would walk around the party handing out these like boxes of food and like we could choose what we wanted like we could do noodles we could do loaded fries like honestly the options were out of this world we could basically just do whatever the hell we wanted and i absolutely love that idea but i just feel like it's a lot of money like it's gonna cost us a couple of grand to do that which just i don't know if i can do that like i don't know if i can spend thousands of pounds on food for a party like i feel like we're meant to be having a small wedding because of the price but what is the point of doing a small wedding if we're gonna spend thousands upon thousands on a party so i've just kind of started to think about other options like we're gonna have a cake there we're gonna have a sweet cart so like it's not like there's not gonna be any food there and if we don't have the proper food then i can afford to get like donuts and cupcakes and like i guess make it a bit more of like a dessert affair the party also doesn't start until 7 30 and personally for me i would be eating before i'd be going and obviously the more money we spend on food the less money we can put towards drinks and i feel like people i don't know it's so hard to tell this is kind of why i want to talk to you guys about it like what would you guys be expecting from a wedding party like it is just the party obviously if you go to like a wedding for the whole day then you do expect to be fed but the party is only from 7 30 till 12 so i'm kind of like i just i don't know what to do aiden said it would be a good idea to potentially do like pizzas so that is something that i can talk to the catering guy about but we're very limited with caterers because the venue only allows two caterers which i think it's a bit cheeky like i'm not gonna lie to you guys i do think it's a little bit cheeky when venues are like you can only use our two caterers that we work with like i understand obviously it's good for the companies but for the people having the wedding it is pretty annoying because i'm not gonna lie i would love to just call up domino's and be like hey can you give us 20 pizzas because that would be a fraction of the price of probably what i'm gonna be charged from the caterer and then we obviously have the whole drinks situation and what we can afford when it comes to drinks because again i don't want to spend thousands and thousands of pounds on drinks like i was talking to aiden and i was like would you rather spend two thousand pounds on food and drink or would you rather go on our dream honeymoon like so different to put those things into perspective and we are very lucky where we are having help from our parents to help pay for the party but we also don't want to put too much money in as well because we've got a house we're going to need to be renovating so my idea with drinks i actually don't know if the venue even allows this so let's hope they do but i want everyone to have a welcome drinks like a glass of prosecco beer i don't know how they work these things and then i don't know this is a little bit cheeky i don't think it is i've done some research and a lot of people do it 
I was going to do like drinks tokens like you can get really nice like wooden tokens off of like Etsy and I was going to give everyone one token and then they can just get like a cocktail they can get a spit like they can get what they want with that token I mean maybe that's a bit stupid and people might go a little bit crazy and get like the most expensive glass of wine or something but I just feel like tabs get used and abused and once that tab would be up like that would be us done like we'd be cut off i feel like a token situation gives everyone a fair chance of getting what they want i was also considering doing like soft drinks being free but again i just feel like it's gonna get expensive i'm just really open to hearing everyone's ideas for what they think i should do what they did for their own weddings because it is just really hard and as i said we're trying to do this on the budget like the reason why we're not actually having a big massive wedding well one of the reasons it's not just the only reason so anyway that's my ted talk please please i beg of you leave your comments below and just like that we are all ready to go downstairs and film i'm actually going to take a tote bag downstairs because i feel like i've got so much to take but this is what i'm wearing i also straightened my hair for the first time whilst being chopped and dark and i honestly i love it so much but i'm gonna take my heels downstairs because i feel like i probably should film in those i've got my tripod i already filmed my american accent <laughs> clip which i don't know if it went well um i guess we'll just have to wait and see if they like me and give me the job so let's let's head downstairs i've got ipad phone camera everything's good to go i feel like this is more than enough space for me to dance in however the coffee table is obviously an issue but for our engagement barbecue i'm hoping there's no spiders back here by the way i am terrified okay i think we're okay as i was saying for our barbecue how am i going to do this we managed to get the coffee table in this corner but i think we're gonna have to move the whole sofa to get it in the gap yeah that's that's not happening that's not gonna happen there's a dead spider on the sofa and i can just dance here okay i'm actually gonna set up the tripod now wherever that is because then once the dance has been learned i can just film it straight away Midnight probably thinks we're like moving house again or something. I feel like I should just put the heels on now. Shall I? Shan't I? I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna put them on. Why can't I dance? Cross, open, cross to the side, and cross, open, cross to the side. Is that it? I'm gonna say we're nearly there. <laughs> I'm literally so out of breath right now. I haven't done card in a very, very, very long time. So let's go again. I would like to make this my, my formal statement that I'm retiring from being a dancer because that was traumatic. My knee, I did way too many Charlestons and now my knees are absolutely killing me. I'm just telling everyone that I'm retiring from dance. Oh, please. Yeah, right. but it just took tell no, no, because they, they would have just seen she can't what retire from dance because she's an incredible dancer. Well, you should see the videos I've just taken of myself. <laughs> I've got to watch them. <laughs> but it's way too long. Yeah, but you haven't danced and for such a long time. And my knees are hurting now. Oh, I'm just starving. Just have some food. Have a cookie. Have a I just had a banana cake. Food has been made. So we've got a bit of pasta, chicken, broccoli and spinach. And then, whoopsies, need to clean that up. But I have one for teaching tomorrow. And then my Pilates on Sunday. I actually feel like it looks like I'm moving out right now. I have so many bags going on and I'm not even done. So I have my suitcase because it's just so much easier to see things that I need early in the morning. I then have my dance bag and I feel like I could probably just take my dance. Do I need to take another bag? Or can I just take this bag to Pilates? I feel like that makes the most 
dense. Charger can go into the suitcase. And I'm also taking my yoga mat, so I think I've got enough to be thinking about. Do I have everything? I'm sure I do. I have clothes for the next two days, hair stuff. Oh, that's what I need to find. My hairbrush seems to have gone missing, and I actually, I have no idea where it's gone. I need to be it folded before we leave, clearly. As you can tell, we are now at Aiden's. We're currently just walking everything around to my side of the bed but we've had some lasagna for dinner which was great and i'm onto like my third piece of banana bread today i am feeling kind of bad though because everyone's watching a film downstairs but i just really want to try and get this portfolio done and it's seven o'clock so i'm not really too sure how long this is all gonna take me but i'm basically just gonna do it until i'm just so far over it so this is the setup we've got my portfolio my glossary that I'm going to need and I've also got on Mile Higher the podcast because I absolutely love this and I'm basically just going to work super hard now probably for like the next two and a half maybe even three hours if I'm honest I might go ahead and end this vlog here because I'm not going to do anything else for the evening and I also if I can get enough of this done I do actually want to edit this vlog so I hope you all did enjoy this vlog I know it was a little bit here and there it was a little bit of a nothing but I wanted to get something out for you guys and I haven't vlogged in a while leave a like comment subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you all very soon in a new video bye